our mayor. Take good care of him. Once I get him working in the fields, he'll be in good shape. I know you will. It just doesn't make it any easier to see him leave home. You still have that show pony? I do. Well, if you need any help with him, you let me know. I'll send James over when I can, and he'll keep an eye on him. He's not doing too good. Had the vet out again. He's kind of colicky. Hasn't been eaten. I don't know what else to do. It's a shame. I know how you love these horses. Yeah, well, you take good care of them for me, okay? We will do. I understand. Yes. Monday? Okay, that sounds great. All right, we'll see you then. Okay, thanks. Bye. Lizzie, if you need us, all you have to do is call. Lizzie. Lizzie. Your mother was talking to you. Lizzie, this visit is going to be good for you. Whatever. You're still abandoning me. That's not true. No. No. You'll get some fresh air, clear your head, spend time with Grandma and the horses. Okay. Lizzie, if we could stay with you, we would, but we have to work. Yeah. You know, it really sucks being kicked out of your own house for Christmas. I know, sweetie. I know, but you'll be all right. see this face? Do I recognize it? Yeah, thanks, Mom. It's hard getting out of the city. I know. So, how are you? You look lovely. Oh, thank you. How's business? It's good. Yeah. Busy. Busy's good. Mm -hmm. So, where's my granddaughter? She won't get out of the car until we leave. Really? Mm. Um, you have no idea. It's been rough. Hey, why don't you come out and say hi to your grandma? Hi. See what I mean? Uh, well, strong-willed, moody. I wonder where she gets it from. <laughs> it's called being a teenager. She'll be fine. Well, I hope this time away will be good for her. I'm sure it will. And it'll be nice to have somebody here living with me, too. So can I get you a cup of coffee, fix you a snack before you hit the road? Oh, we have contracts we have to get in first thing in the morning. It's a really long drive. I wish we could, though. Yeah, I understand. We'll see you okay. later. Oh, good to see you. So good to see you. If she gives you any trouble, let me know. I'll come pick her up if I have to. I'm sure she's going to be just fine. Now, you guys drive safe. <laughs> Miss you. Bye. You want something to eat? No. Something to drink? Stupid. How about we go for a hike? I hate nature. I'm just gonna go to my room. You want help unpacking? I'm fine. Your bags are in your room. This is a horrible picture of me. I love this picture of you. Stupid. Okay, let's go for a walk. Now.
Didn't you guys used to have a lot of horses here? Yeah, me and your grandpa used to have seven. Do you miss him? What, your grandfather? Yeah, of course I do. What do you remember about him? He'd give me a dollar every time I'd visit. Figures. Why don't we go take a look at my pony? Where are they? Keep going. She's so cute. Something wrong with her? He's very sick. He's got colic and well, I had the vet out to look at him, but he hasn't been eating anything at all and I don't know what else to do with him. I don't have the time to sit here and just be with him all day. I've tried everything I know. What about the rest of them? I, um, I couldn't take care of him anymore. So you just gave them away? No, Lizzie, it's not as easy as that. It's not important right Not now. important. I know exactly how they felt. Nobody wants me either. You are wanted, and you're very much loved. What's this one's name? You know, he doesn't have a bar name yet. I couldn't come up with a name that I thought would fit, so I thought that you might want to name him. Seriously? Yeah, but you have to take care of him. That's the deal. If you name him, you take care of him. I don't know anything about taking care of a horse. Raising horses is in your blood. It's going to come to you. I've never done it before. Well, he is very sick. And he needs a friend right now. And frankly, I think that you could use one too. What do you say? Hmm? I don't know. A horse has to really really trust you and um you can't force it and for some reason this is my last one and i have not been able to contact with him so i just want you to try what do you say you got a deal hmm okay deal Brought you some fresh towels. Thanks. Your mom got me that. Did you know that? Cool. Yeah, I love the snow. I wish it snowed more here. What about you? If you could do anything you wanted, no restrictions, what do you want to do with your life? I don't know. I guess... I guess I'd want to be somebody important and do something good. Like not helping people? I guess. I just don't want to be obsessed with my job like my parents are. Hmm. Yeah, it's whatever. Okay, well, I'll leave you be now. If you get bored, you want to read a book? Your grandfather's got some down the hall. He used to read everything. How about grilled cheese sandwich and some tomato soup? Sure. Okay.
now what's beaten you? Can't find any of those stupid horse books anywhere. There's a white trunk in my room. I bet you they're in there. Hopefully we can give them away. Where are you going? I'm gonna go be in the barn. Do you have any carrots? This book says horses like carrots. What about dinner? I gotta go. Well, we eat at six. Don't be late. Okay. Hey, boy, look what I brought you. Something, babe. One. Why won't you eat? How's my horse doing? Good. Um, he's liking his new home. Dad said we're gonna start training him tomorrow. Oh, that's great. Yeah. How's everything else at home? Pretty good. It's uh, just busy. There's a lot of people coming over for Christmas. That should be nice. Yeah, it's just hectic. What, not a fan? No. I like it nice and quiet. I get a lot more work done that way. Did you get my little project finished? Thank you. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Yeah, it uh, smells good, by the way. Well, I'll have to sit down and have some dinner. No, 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 I, I can't. I didn't expect you to make dinner for me. Just Come on. I told Lizzie dinner was at 6, and it is... And it's almost 6.30, so let's eat. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food, for wonderful neighbors, for this day, for my granddaughter, and help us to use this food to nourish our bodies. Amen. Amen. So Lizzie's staying for Christmas? Mm-hmm. Your parents have to work. Real estate is a tough business. We got a couple of really big deals close at the end of the year. Oh, Lizzie. This is James. James, my granddaughter Lizzie. Hi. Is that my dinner? Um, I said dinner was at 6, and it's 6.30 now. So what am I supposed to do, starve? No, I'm sure that there's more carrots in the fridge. Ah! <laughs> oh, I should probably go. Don't worry about it, James. She's gonna be fine. She's just a little bit frustrated right now. Will I see you tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, I think that she's going to need a little bit of help with that pony. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'll have to uh, check with Dad if he needs me to work on the farm, but sure. You tell Phil I said he works you too hard. 
Oh, that reminds me, I promised I'd help him uh, set up the tree. I gotta go. Okay. Thanks for dinner. Thank you. None of these stupid books are telling me anything about taking care of a horse. How am I supposed to know what I'm doing? You told me to take care of him. Let's go inside. I'll make you something to eat. Not until I figure out how to feed him. Why don't we give him a blanket and we'll get you warmed up. How am I supposed to know what I'm supposed to do? You told me to take care of him. I don't know anything about taking care of a stupid horse. It's enough. Okay? Inside the house, dinner time. Fine. This is for you. What is it? Open it. I had a friend of mine make you something. The boy who ate my dinner. A horse. Not just a horse. He was my horse. And his name was Hercules. <laughs> Hercules? Yeah. And he was the best show jumper around. Did you give him away too? I have to go check on the pony. Lunch at noon. name for him. For the pony? Hope. Hope. Yeah. That sounds good. It fits. I know you know why my parents sent me here. But I'm not a bad kid. I know you're not. I didn't mean for it to happen. I just got so tired of everything. Then everything got bad. Why don't you show them you can do something good? What do you mean? Let them know they can trust you. See the good in you. Do you think I could do that with hope? Maybe. Thanks for this. Why don't you clean out the stall? It gets a little bit cold and wet at nighttime. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna be all nice and warm tonight, aren't you? Gotta see this to believe it. Man, that thing's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. This is a farm. <laughs> Let's go, show me your stuff. All right. Hey. There you go. 
Yeah, he's been eating hay and carrots all night, haven't you, boy? I don't believe this. You're amazing. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go make breakfast, okay? Be up in 10? Okay. Would you pick up the mail on the way up, please? Sure. <laughs> Good boy. Mm -hmm. Timing. Breakfast is ready. You're gonna lose the ranch. What? This letter says the bank's gonna take the ranch from you. You open my mail? So it's true then. You shouldn't open other people's mail, Lizzie. You knew this was gonna happen, didn't you? Oh, the money. How much? A lot. That is none of your business. How did this even happen? Ever since your grandfather died, I have had to run this place on my own. Putting my horses in shows, winning some money. I've gone through my savings, all just to try and make ends meet. You have no idea what it costs to keep a place like this running. It would have been so bad, but last couple of years, with some early frost, some of the neighbors just about lost everything. Don had a stroke. And Eileen, she broke her hip. So I finally took out a loan on the property to help them out. Why would you do that if you didn't even have money for yourself? These people are like family to me. Ever since your grandfather died, they have been there for me, checking in on me, taking care of me, and fixing things up around the ranch. And what about the horses? I had to sell them to stay current with a loan. Just like that, you sold them? I did what I had to. So you're just gonna let the bank take the branch from you? Yes. Can't those neighbors help you? Can't mom and dad help you at least? There's gotta be a way, Grandma. I won't ask your parents, and I can't ask the neighbors. They're still struggling, They're trying to keep their own heads above water. I don't understand. The thing is, nobody knows these farms like the people that are already farming the land. But what really boils my bones are those vultures. The bankers and the developers are just sitting around waiting for a late payment so they can snatch up the property and knock down the barns, get rid of all the animals. Put up a subdivision. And that's what they want to do to my ranch. Charles would be heartbroken. So you're just gonna give up? No, that pony was my last hope. I was going to train him for show jumping, win some competitions, sell him and get back on top of things again. And now he's too weak and I'm too tired. I don't have any more time. So that's it then? We have this last Christmas together, you and me. And I'm glad to spend it here with you. There was nobody at the house, so I, I figured I'd come down here. What do you want? Well, uh, Mary said you might need my help. Did she? Yeah, I know a lot about horses. Well, I got Hope eating again, so I don't need you. Leave! Look, I'm sorry I ate your dinner. You know, it's hard to say no to your grandma. She asked me to eat with her. All right, she's like a family friend. You're friends with my grandma? Yeah. 
We've been neighbors since I was born. She's pretty much family to us. Did my grandma give your family money? Yeah. Last year after the bad frost. Why? Then why don't you guys just pay her back? What? My grandma doesn't have enough money to keep this place going, and your family owes her money. So if you guys don't pay her back, she's going to lose this place. I swear I didn't know. If my family could afford that to help her, we would, but I know we don't have that kind of money. So my grandma's just going to lose everything and everyone while you guys just watch? I'm sorry, I don't know what to do. Just leave. Anything about training horses for show jumping? I mean, me and my brother used to ride in competitions when I was younger. So do you? Well, yeah. Come with me. I don't want this to be your last Christmas here, Grandma. Oh, Lizzie, I'm sweetheart. I'm sorry. You can't lose this ranch. Well, what else am I gonna do? You have hope. Hope? Yes. I'm too tired, and I don't have the time to train a horse. Well, I'm here now. And? And I'm going to train him for show jumping, and we will win you the money to save the ranch. <laughs> Sweetheart, you don't know how to train a horse for show jumping. With James and a little help from you, I will. You're, you're serious? You really want to do this? It takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. I know. And I do want to do this. And you know how stubborn I am. What do we got to lose? Awesome. Come on. What? Oh. Grandma's in. Look at this place. There's no tree, there's no lights, there's no garland. This place looks horrible for Christmas. You need to go home, get as many spare decorations as you can, visit other farms if you have to, and ask them for some too. Go now. Better do like she says. And hurry up, Hope's training starts now. I'm gonna go change my shirt. Okay, the first thing you're gonna have Hope do is walk over these poles. Now, he's gotta walk over them. He's gonna be a little bit hesitant, but that's your job. After that, you will run over it and he will trot behind you. After a while, he'll actually like to do it. So it's gonna work on his confidence his gait and his rhythm. It's really important for him to develop that, okay? All right, what else? Over here. What happens here is these two poles get put in the cups on either side. It's called an X. Why don't you hold them for a minute? So one goes in this cup, one in the other cup. Any pony can jump this, but you gotta wait until Hope gets stronger to handle the fences, okay? How long do you think it'll take him to do that? When he's ready, but you can't push him. I don't want him or you to get hurt. I'd never hurt Hope. I know you wouldn't hurt him. You just have to be careful. I know my parents think I'm a total screw-up that doesn't care about anything or anybody, but I'm in this, Grandma. I'm not going to screw it up. I know I can do this. I believe you can. Ready to get started? Yeah. Come on. Come on, boy. What do you got for us? This is all the stuff my parents aren't using. Your leftovers? Well, it's all still good stuff. Here, let's take a look. Okay. 
What do you think? Good enough, I guess. Go ahead and take it on up to the house and come back out and help me with Hope. We'll be back in later, Grandma. Come on. Oh, that girl. Oh, I guess I've got my work cut out for me this afternoon. I haven't put up decorations in a long time. How come? Mm, kind of lost the enthusiasm once Charles died. I mean, you don't have to decorate if you don't want to. <laughs> no, it's for Lizzie. How come uh, her parents brought her here? Just getting in a little bit of trouble at home. She doesn't seem that bad to me. No. no I don't think she is. Why don't you go help her? I'll take this up to the house. Maybe even take a little nap. You worked really hard today. Yeah. It's getting a lot stronger, too. Yeah. I think I'm going to have him run the exits tomorrow. When did you find out you were coming here to your grandma's? A couple days ago. Do you like it here? I mean, it like must be so different than the city. Yeah. <laughs> do you feel different out here? What do you mean? Out in the country, like, does it make you feel different? I mean, Mary told me that your parents brought you here because of something bad you did. And? I don't know. You don't seem so bad to me. Why not? I don't know. I guess I just don't believe it. Well, you should. You don't know me, so don't act like you do. What'd you do? I got in trouble with a couple of my friends. It was an accident. Stupid. We had a couple of drinks and we all fell asleep. The curtains must have caught on fire because I woke up to flames and screaming. Was anybody hurt? We were all rushed to the hospital because of all the smoke we were breathing in. It was pretty bad. Your parents must have freaked. Yeah. What about your house? It's fine. The firefighters got there in time, so only the living room was ruined. Wow. Yeah. So that's why they brought you here? They're never gonna trust me again. But it was just an accident. Yeah, it was, but they're also mad at me for my grades. Oh, are you doing bad in school? Yeah. <laughs> I got suspended. Hmm. Why? I skipped too much. But my parents didn't notice until the principal called to tell them that I got suspended. I've never even had a detention. Well, good for you. My parents had me on lockdown for a week after I was suspended. And that's when the fire happened. So that's why they brought you here? It was stupid, I get that, but I'm not a bad kid. And I hate that I think I am. Um, they're never gonna trust me again. They always look so sad when they look at me now. Well, you can't be all that bad. Hope still trusts you. Yeah. I know. That's why I can't let him down. You made this for me? Yeah. It was a gift for you. Your grandma asked me to. Thanks. Wow. What do you think? <laughs> Looks great. I was hoping to surprise you. I forgot what a chore this was. It's a lot of hard work. <laughs> it's been a lot of years since I did all this Christmas decorating. I like being here for Christmas. I like having you here for Christmas. Hope's training is going really well. Yep. I think you're doing a great job with him. <laughs> Thanks. About it. <sighs> Could you help me with this box over here? Sure.
This place is starting to look pretty incredible. It is. You know, when your dad was little, Grandpa Charles used to decorate for every holiday, every single room in this ranch. <laughs> and then he got sick and it became more of a chore, so I kind of stopped. How long's it been since he passed? It's been eight years. Time flies. Do you think about him a lot? Sometimes I do. Other times, not as much. But I tell you, when he died, I sure was mad at God at first. But not anymore? Mm, no. I forgave him. Besides, I know I'm going to see Charles again one day. And I've got so much to be grateful for right here. Grandma, I'm not going to be able to give you a present for Christmas this year. That's OK, sweetie. I was in such a bad mood when I left. I didn't think about getting anything for anybody. I tell you what, you get Hope fit and healthy, and that will be the best Christmas present you could give me, OK? OK. Well, I'm pooped. I couldn't pick up another ornament. Thanks for your help today. Yeah, it was fun. You must be tired, too. I don't know who's working harder, you or Hope. Oh, no. It's so much fun for me. I love him. So have you heard from your parents lately? Have you called them? No. Why not? I don't see the point. Have they tried to call you? I don't know. I haven't checked my phone because it's been off. What if they're trying to get a hold of you? I don't want to talk to them. Besides, they dumped me here for Christmas anyway, so they don't have to talk to me. That's not true. Then why? Because they were worried about you. Whatever. You know, Lizzie, you can handle raising a horse. I think you can handle a phone call. Can I go now? You too. <laughs> right. Let's get you out and do some training today. <laughs> Did you have a good night's sleep, Hope? <laughs> I'm hoping you at least did. Seems like you did. Grandma's mad at me for me not wanting to call my parents last night. I don't see why I should. I've got nothing to say to them. Hey, not cool. Did you know your mom and dad, Hope? I bet they were great show jumpers. And I bet Grandma knew them. She trained them into something great. You can trust me, Hope. We're gonna be something great, too. All right, here's your carrot. <laughs> Every memory that fights to take me under Every obstacle that stands against my way Every heart that learns to breathe in a hard reality to I 
dare to put one foot in front of the other If I speak the words that I cannot yet see Will you meet me straight ahead Turn this fear to face instead I'm on my knees So please believe for me and I'll believe for you Cause I need this thing to happen Need to know it's true It was really great today, I hope. And I think when I first got here, you could barely walk. You're gonna save Grandma's ranch. Hi, Mary. Hi, James. Brought more Christmas decorations. Wonderful, thank you. Want me to just leave them here? That's a good place. What are you making? Christmas chocolate pecan pie. Oh, yum. Is it, um, is it hard to make pies? Not too hard. No? Oh. Are you gonna ask me where Lizzie is? What? Where? No, I was... Just bring in uh, more decorations. Just in case you're curious, she may be in the barn. Oh, uh, I should have known she'd be with Hope. Mm-hmm. Dinner's at six. Yeah, uh, what are we eating? James, you came here to see Lizzie, right? Go, see her. Don't be late. Hey, Lizzie. Another hard day of training? Yeah. I could get used to this. You mean the ranch? I've lived on a farm my whole life. Really? <laughs> yeah. I want to go to college in the city, but Dad won't let me go. Why not? Well, he wants me to help run the farm. And you don't want to? Not really. But uh, I don't really have a choice. I'm the only one left at home. Oh, you're an only kid too? No, no. My uh, older sister, Samantha, about two years ago, she eloped with some guy from California and uh, they ran off together. So she doesn't talk to us anymore. Uh -huh. Then my brother, Zach, joined the Navy. I want to go visit him. But you can't? No, we don't have that kind of money. So, Dad wants me to help take over the farm. Well, if you could go to school, what would you study? My mom always says that I'd do great at an art school. Really, art? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she thinks I've got talent, but uh, I'm not so sure. No, you do have talent. You made me that horse, it was beautiful. Nah, that, that's, that's easy. Besides, that's not real art. I mean, I can't, like, draw or paint that well or anything. Well, I think it's real art. Yeah? Hmm? You know, I've got, like, probably about a hundred more of those at home. You should really start showing people those. I know they think it's art, too. You should definitely look into selling them. You think so? Yeah. I'll think about it. I just love this view. Yeah. Hey, I need to see how Hope's doing. I just put him up. I need to see how he is progressing now. But he's resting. I know you worked hard. You still got more work to do. I may have to put Hope on the training circuit sooner than I thought. I'm not gonna rush him. 
Let's get him out. Is everything okay? I don't know. I got a call from the bank, and I just have to see how he's doing. Okay. Yeah, good boy. See how strong he's gotten? Yeah, you're looking great. He's looking great. <laughs> yeah, he's not sick at all anymore, are you, boy? Mm. I need to see him tackle that fence. I don't want to rush him. Lizzie, if you want me to keep the ranch, he's got to be able to handle that. Yeah, don't worry, Lizzie. That's what all this training has been for. OK, boy. This is it. You've done such a great job with him. I couldn't have done better myself. Really? Yeah, seriously. So what happens now? You keep training him. He's not quite ready to compete. And in the meantime, I'm going to start looking up some show jumping competitions to enter him into at the beginning of the year. He's not too young? No. He's just going to be competing against other ponies his age. He'll be fine. Good. I want to stay here till he's done with training. Here on the ranch? Yeah. I would love that. We're both hungry. I know I am. Lizzie? There's a woman with a group of people down at the barn. What are you doing here? This is private property. If you'd like to take a step inside, go ahead on in. Mrs. Evans, I don't know if you remember me. I'm Erin Cooper. Yeah, from the bank. Yes. Who are those people? What are you doing here? They're here to see the ranch. What for? We're choosing a realtor to list the property. What? Mrs. Evans, the bank has been more than fair. You haven't made a payment in six months. I had some unexpected expenses, but I'm, I'm working on rebuilding right now. I have a show pony. This could... ranch is the only reason that the bank gave you this loan of this magnitude in the first place. I'm sorry that you're having personal difficulties. OK, so now what? Now the bank sets out to search for a new owner for the ranch and its surrounding land. You can't do that. This is my ranch. It's my home. Actually, we can. And we are. You signed a note. You're six months delinquent. The bank is merely trying to get back its investment. I'm sorry. It's just business. Business? No, this is my life. You were warned that failure to pay would result in loss of property. I just need a little bit more time to get him into competition and get him trained, and then I will be current on, on the loan payments. There is no more time. But the show season starts in a month. If you can begin to make payments for the debt that you owe in a matter that will satisfy the bank, you'll get more time to get current on your loan. In what manner would that be? A slight bump to $3,500 a month. OK. OK. Your next payment's on the 24th. Of December? That's in a few days. I know. On Christmas Eve? The bank is open till 1 o'clock. Look, it's simple. 
Make the payments or we foreclose. Who were they? It was a banker with a bunch of realtors. What were they doing here? They came to look at the ranch. She wants me to make a payment by Monday. I think it's over. No. You said I had enough time to finish training Hope. I thought I'd have at least a couple more months. They have to give you more time. Hope's almost ready. They don't care about that. They want $3,500 on Christmas Eve. Then just give them the money, pay them. I don't have that much money. This is stupid. What if there was a horse show between now and then? We could win the money. By Monday. There's no shows until the new year. So what are you gonna do, just give up and sit back and watch them take the ranch from you? What else can I do? I am not gonna lose this ranch. I refuse to let that happen. Mm. Lizzie, please! Go. See if she's okay. Are you all right, Lizzie? Would you just leave me alone? I wish I never came to this place. Hey, it's going to be OK. Don't say that it's going to be OK. Nothing is going to be OK. All this is going to be gone, and it's partly your family's fault. Your pathetic, poor family. No wonder your stupid siblings left. <laughs> I just want to leave this place. Would you think about someone else for a change? What? All you care about is yourself. How do you think Mary feels? How do you think I feel? Okay, yeah, I know my family is partly responsible. I can't help that. I wish I could. You don't even realize how mean you're being. We were becoming good friends. You were finally starting to get along with your grandma. And now because of, because of your temper, you're ruining everything. I was happy here. I was bringing hope back to life and saving this ranch, but now. Now what? Now that your plan to redeem yourself is over, what are you gonna do? Your grandma is in there right now, alone. She's having to deal with this by herself because you're in here. Just go be with her. Just go home, James. I never want to see you again. I'm gone, Lizzie. Good. <laughs> James? I'm sorry I can't stay for dinner, Mary. How's Lizzie?
I'm so sorry. What's gonna happen to Hope? I don't know. I just don't know. You're gonna get rid of him, aren't you? You don't understand. It's not that simple. This ranch and these horses have been my whole life. And when your grandpa died, I had to make some really hard decisions. I don't regret it. I'd still do it all over again. How can you say that? It cost you everything. It cost me a lot. But I helped some very dear friends save their farms, and it's only money. Yeah, but you ended up screwing yourself over and all of your horses, including Hope. No. I took care of my horses. And I'll take care of Hope. If I have to find him a home, I will. You mean sell him? Maybe. But I don't want you to. I don't want anybody else to have him. I don't have too many options left, Lizzie. What else am I supposed to do? I can't lose him. It's not the end of the world. Life goes on. Whatever. I'm going inside now. I don't care where you go. Got a lot of things to think about. A lot of decisions to be made. I'll come inside when you're ready. Everything. Uh, no, it's all for sale. Whatever you want. Oh, you're helping me out. Mm hmm. So this afternoon? That would be great. First come, first serve. Give Bev and Mac a call too for me. All right, appreciate it. Thanks. I know what to do. I know how to save the ranch. I'm already making a No, Grandma, listen to me. You have to trust me. What is it? Come on. 
Follow me. We don't have any time to lose. What are you doing? I am calling my parents. What for? I don't want you to involve them. We're gonna need their help if this is gonna work. If what's going to work? It's ringing. Hey, Mom, it's me. You and Dad get to Grandma's ranch as soon as possible. I'll explain it when you get here. All right, bye. Okay, let's go downstairs, bring your phone. Lizzie, just stop, you've got to tell me what is going on in that brain of yours. Call every person that you know and call in every favor that you can. What for? We're going to turn the ranch into a Christmas market. A Christmas market? Yes. Call all the farms that you saved and have them bring vegetables, fruits, food, drinks, crafts, anything and everything. What if they can't? You saved them, Grandma, and now you need their help. They owe you. A Christmas market? Yes. We'll have the tables all set up in the barn with the merchandise. We'll have Christmas music playing and hopefully it'll be one of the attractions. I don't think something like that'll work. Trust me, Grandma, it will. You really believe it? I do. Now get calling. We need as much help as we can get. Everybody? Yes. Okay, I don't need you over my shoulder. Go. Okay. Lizzie. Are you all right? You guys came. We kept trying to call you back, but you didn't pick up, and your grandmother's not answering. What's going on? Are you okay? I'm sorry, my phone was off. And then out of the blue, you tell us to get here as quickly as you can? You've got us really worried, Lizzie. I'm gonna save Grandma's ranch. Save it? Did you guys know Grandma was in a lot of debt? Yeah, well, you shouldn't know that. Well, we need to raise $3,500, or else the bank's gonna take the ranch from her. Lizzie, where's your grandmother? She's in the house, probably making phone calls. All right, I, I, I've got to go talk to her. I just need you guys to help me out here. What do you need? I have some more of these tables in the back of the house, so we just need to bring him out here to the barn and set him up. But we need to move fast. OK, come on. Let's go. OK, Charlie, that's great. Thank you. All right, I'll see you tomorrow then, bright and early. OK. Merry Christmas. What's going on, Mom? Are you really in that much trouble? Apparently I am. A lady from the bank came by and has given me until Christmas Eve to come up with a very inflated loan payment. You should have asked me if you needed help. I don't want you to lose this place. David, you and Susan have enough problems of your own. It wasn't going to burden you with this, too. Besides, all things happen for a reason. There's got to be something we can do. Lizzie's doing something. What's she do now? Apparently, she's saving the ranch. Mom, she's a 16-year-old girl. How's she going to be able to do that? She's smart. And she's very creative. <laughs> and so determined. I'm listening to her. Now go. I've got things to do. Um, all right, but what do you need me to do? Go see Lizzie. I'm sure she's got a list for you, too. She's in charge? Yes, she's in charge. She wants to be trusted with this. Do you? Do you trust her? She really cares about this place. Give her a chance to show it. Rhoda. Hi, it's Mary. Listen, something has come up, and, well, I've got a big favor to ask you. I'd really like it if you and Dad would stay for market tomorrow. Lizzie, we have to work. Figures. I'll call into the office, and we have to ask your grandma if it's okay. She won't mind. You really think this is gonna work? Yeah. It's going to be a beautiful market, Mom. What are we selling? Whatever people bring us. Things should be coming in any minute now. <laughs> well, what else do we have to do to set up for tomorrow? I can't think of anything right now, so I think we're good. 
but I'll let you know if anything comes up. Okay, sounds great. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Hi, Mary. Oh. Oh, this is gorgeous. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Lizzie. Hi. Beautiful. Thank you. All of this is from the McDougals. Part of that money from the loan is saved their ranch. And it's all a gift. That's so amazing. I know. Well, where do we put them? Oh, that's the boss. Hey, Mom, Dad, can you come help us put some of these over there? We're going to be selling them right tomorrow morning. Are they going to be OK overnight? Yeah, they should be fine. The barn gets really cold at night, so they'll be good, especially since How we're selling How do you know that? I mean, he stayed there overnight. You let Lizzie sleep in the barn? I may have. How come you wouldn't when I was a kid? He's pretty special. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, Mary asked me to. She did? Yeah. I'm sorry for yelling at you. You have an anger problem. I might. <laughs> so, uh, are you guys setting up for market day here? Yeah, did Mary tell you? Yeah, she asked me to bring some things to sell too. Oh, can I see? Only if you promise not to start screaming, crying, or uh, hitting me, okay? Okay. I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> wow. You think these are good enough to sell? They're perfect, thank you. Are you sure you want to sell them? I want to save this ranch just as much as you do. Oh, do you know anybody who has a Santa costume? Yeah, I think I just might. Awesome. I'll need it tomorrow morning. Can do. All right. Let's start setting these up. And Hope here is going to be the center attraction. Do we have enough? Are we going to be able to make enough money? Yeah, I think so. I called in all the favors I could. All we can do now is just wait. I think it looks beautiful, honey. Thanks, Mom. You guys can have my bed tonight if you want. Where are you going to sleep? I'm going to take the sofa. Besides, i got a lot of stuff to think about, so I probably won't be getting much sleep anyway. You know what? I'm really proud of you. But let's see how tomorrow goes first. Is this a joke? Lizzie, who is this? Oh, I'm I'm James. We haven't officially met yet. Nice to meet you both. Oh, nice to meet you. Pleasure. This is perfect. What's that for? It's for you to wear, Dad. You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. We're going to be taking pictures at market of kids and families with Santa and Hope. It'll be Santa and his pony. I came up with the idea yesterday. I love it. It's a great idea. But Santa doesn't have a pony. Well, ours will. But I'm not fat enough to be Santa. Am I? Close enough. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, Mom, I'm going to need you to be in charge of all the money stuff, OK? I'm going to go downstairs and start helping out Grandma setting up everything. So you guys hurry up and get dressed. This is it. <laughs> Those people really didn't let you down. They brought a lot of good stuff. Now, I am surrounded by really good people. <laughs> I feel 
really blessed. Now I just have to see who's gonna show up. Oh, they'll come. You sure? Absolutely. Thank you. For what? For what? For being the best granddaughter ever. Oh. <laughs> That's all. It's been a special couple of weeks. What is that? People are coming. That's good. Oh, work. this is great. <laughs> come on. Just go on up there. Go on up there. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's oh, get up yeah. there. Before they get here. <laughs> But I didn't say I'd give you a horse. No, I'm just kidding. You can have it. Hey, how's it going? People like them. Good. I told you they would. And next, come on in. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Feels good to take pictures. It's been a while. Good. I'm glad. Good job, Hope. Good boy. Good job, boy. <laughs> <clears throat> you too, Dad. Thanks, Rosie. We did good. How good? Enough to cover at least a few months of payments. Is that enough time to finish Hope's training for shows? Yes, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you did it. Oh, no, no, we all did it. None of this could have happened if everybody hadn't helped. And this guy's art made most of the money. You're welcome. I'm so happy for you, Mom. This place belongs to you. Thank you. Thank you all so much. <laughs> Mom, Dad, can I stay with Grandma? Yeah, why not? Sure. <laughs> She'll be fine. You drive careful. Absolutely. I go. Bye, Mom. You know, we're really glad you call. I'm very proud of you, honey. Thanks, Mom. We'll drop this off at the bank first thing, Mom. Thanks for doing that, Dad. Sure. I love you. You did an amazing job, honey. Thanks. Now, you guys let us know as soon as you drop that off, OK? Grandma's still in denial. She gets to keep this place. <laughs> hey, it's all because of you. Bye. 
going home. Hmm. You did it. No, Grandma. Hope did it. None of this would have happened if it wasn't for Hope. Hope, huh? You've taught me something. What? Hope. It's believing. I guess it is. <laughs> I think I'm gonna raise the bar on the Catholics. Every fiber of my being needs an answer.